Right, so now let's decide preference test store or proto data store. Preference data store are key without defining a scheme. Proto data store needs a scheme which allow strongly type data. What we need is a serial and a brand. Those are the two data which we are going to store. And those two kind of I believe are very simple that see we really don't need to get into this protocol buffer and we don't need to make our serializer to handle uh, to work with our protocol buffer so we can introduce our data store but uh, it is recommended way to have a proto data, a proto data store which is which is supported by Google uh, and recommended by Google so if you want to apply proto data store feel free to try it so it will probably work fine uh, I haven't really tested that out yet, but it's probably gonna work the same. So for this app, I'm just gonna use preference data store. And let's begin by creating our data store management interface. And in your decoding data, and we now need to we need to kind of fix our code a bit because now we have a lot of package. So I will make another package in our data, I'll name it local, and I will pass the decoder. And I would probably put the, not the entity, the, yep, I will put the decoder in our local. All right, now they are moving directly. Now for brand, I will make the brand in the entity, which is just the same. And I will remove just the brand. It's kind of pointless to be available here and for factory i will keep the factory the same here and for the utility it will be the same as here all right so now we need to add our data store um, package data store. and actually we need to add it in the local so in your local we will make a new package we call it data store. In this data store, it will be data store management, which will be an interface. And what do we need to have in this data store? We will need to update serial, which will have serial, and we need to get serial, and it should return us with a flow of string. And now we need to update brand with brand, and we also get brand, which is also gonna be flow string. And all of these are functions, so that's what we need. Let's implement it. All right. Now import the quarantine flow. And now we have our database, uh, data store management ready. 